The Covenant is prison, arguably the world's first concentration camp. The question that inspired J.K. Rowling is, for me, one of the most evocative spots in all Edinburgh. Great Rice Curd. In the early 1960s, the magic of Walt Disney recreated this beautiful church to tell the story of Edinburgh's unlikeliest hero. Greyfriars Bobby, then, probably the most famous uh, resident of the, of the graveyard. But the idea is that this little dog pined for its master and stayed by the graveside for 14, 14 years, years until yeah. it eventually died. The real story isn't quite the same as the famous one. It was, oh, it was, no, you're not going to disappoint me now, are you? It was written by Eleanor Atkinson, who was an American and never set foot in Edinburgh and never saw the dog. And according to her story, he was owned by a shepherd called Old Jock. And a, a friend of mine called James McGill Hooley, a local historian, went through the records and he found this guy and he's buried in East Preston Street, which is two and a half miles from here. So the dog, if it did sit here, if it was the shepherd's dog, it was not only in the wrong grave for 14 years, it yeah. was in the wrong area of Edinburgh entirely. Yeah. It's got a statue outside, which is the most photographed statue in Scotland. And he's on grave up at the entrance. But the, again, he's probably not buried in that grave because he's a dog and they wouldn't be allowed to be buried in the church. I'm going to skip somewhere. <laughs> Sorry. But Greyfriars Kirk has played a major role in a piece of Scottish history that's become known simply as the 50 Years of Struggle. In 1638, Scottish Presbyterians found themselves locked in conflict with Charles I over the age-old belief of the divine right of the monarch. The crunch came when Charles I introduced the English-style Book of Common Prayer to Scotland. He declared that opposition to the book would be treason, punishable by death. This incited a revolution and the National Covenant was signed in 1638 when nobles and peasants stood side by side to defend Scotland's rights for church and state. The Covenant was actually signed here. It was the, it was the Presbyterian movement of the Scots that resulted in the Civil War, the death of Charles I. Um, but they were crushed eventually, and the last of them were herded into the Covenanter's prison. Tucked away in a far corner of the churchyard is a small walled enclosure that saw unbelievable suffering and cruelty to Scottish Presbyterians. 2,000 men, women and children were locked behind gates open to the elements without food and water in what has become a terrible first, the first ever concentration camp. There were about 2,200 people kept inside here. By the time the cold and the starvation had done its work, there were only, only a few hundred left. I think I mean, this is just a... A melancholy, you called it. It's kind of bleak place. I just get the feeling bad things happened here, which they obviously did, didn't they? They certainly did. There's little elements of that. You know, in